just take a seat. I'll just in a moment. Right. Sure thing, Moss. Now then, what's all this bother about? Well, it's a new boy, Scuff. What's about them? They're... off. Truth be told, all the lads are a bit... I guess I'm settled would be the kind thing to say. I do hope I'm not about to hear any complaints about their background. These young men have had a hard time of it. They did a very brave thing by getting help and learning to be decent members of society. And I take a very dim view of any mistreatment or bullying. No, no, Guff. Nothing like that from our lads. They're not like that. I wouldn't stand for it myself, either. Well, good. That's all. I've got to get back to work. Begging your pardon, Gov, but you've not heard what I have to say, and I'll not be doing my job if I did speak to you about this. Right, fine. Go ahead. Look, I'm just going to speak off the top of my head and put it all on the table. I don't know what they've done to them, but they don't act like regular people. You set them a task, tell them to go somewhere, do something, and it will get done. No messing. Very rare they'll make a mistake. They're good workers. It's everything else that's off. You'll be working the line, right? And then you'll feel the hair standing up on the back of your neck. When you turn around, a group room which would be stood there, stock still, staring at you. <sighs> Did you ever consider that they were just observing how you're operating the machines? Keenness to learn is a very abnormal thing in young people these days. No wonder you thought it strange. You haven't seen it in ages. That's not it. I mean, it could be, sometimes. But you'll turn around, catch them staring, and they'll just keep doing it for a while. Then all at once, they'll turn back to whatever it was they were supposed to be doing. Like they were puppets. Someone tugged their strings all at once. Well... Then that's how they behave in camp. You walk past any of the other buildings, you hear music, high spirits, arguments, shatter, all the normal sounds you'd expect. Their hut, dead silence. Never a peep. I can't recall hearing one of them ever... Make a joke. Or even crack a smile. It's not a crime to be quiet and well-behaved, you know. Look, I don't think you're taking this seriously. But it's not just one or two things. It's a whole bunch of small things. All right, right, right. Here's something else. They've got this weird obsession with the deep shafts. I run into it myself. Hearing noise down there, round in the corner and finding a bunch of them stood about. Whatever it is they were doing, they'll stop immediately and begin filing out. You ask any of them what they're up to and all you'll get is a blank stare. And that's even if they acknowledge you at all. Ah! <laughs> well, there you have it. Um, there, there I have what exactly? Well, why you don't hear much from their accommodation blocks? Clearly, these lads just prefer their own company. It's a small camp, after all. They must be finding a quiet spot to themselves where they can get together. Look at it this way. You're in here saying all the other lads don't like the boys. Well, surely they must have picked up on that, and not just to give everyone a bit of distance. And you're not at all worried about what they're up to? We've had no reports of thefts, fights... Or any performance problems, have we? Haven't I always given you lads a space to do what you like with your free time? I told you when I started, this isn't the army. As long as you don't bring drugs and prostitutes into camp, or starting brawls, I'd treat you like the responsible adults you are. Again, I don't think you're getting me. OK, look. Remember the new boy a few weeks ago? The one who had his own court in the conveyor. Nazi business, that. Not the worst I've seen, but it was serious. 
Even the hardest man I know would have cried out in pain or swore. This lad, silence, not a peep. Well, shock does funny things to people. We all react to extreme pain in different ways. I was one of the first people to get to him. Had my arms round his waist to stop him being pulled in before the emergency cutoff stopped the belt. He didn't so much as grunt. When I pulled him away, he looked me in the eyes. There was nothing there. Not a look of pain, shock or anger. Just blank. But the entire thing was no bother at all. I wasn't the only one who saw it. All the boys were shook up about that. And it's not the first time they show no reaction to injury, but, you know, like you said, everyone reacts differently, but this... There's no way to get your hand ground to paste and not cry out. None. Look, I'm sure you think you saw what you saw, but it was a stressful situation, and I doubt it was that serious. Even if it was... Perhaps the lad had some kind of medical condition. I read a story about a man who used to do carnivals who was born without the ability to feel pain. Maybe it just didn't hurt him that much. Are you freaking kidding me? Your answer to that is that he's some kind of circus freak. I can't believe what I'm hearing. There's absolutely no call for an outburst like that. I think you should leave. No call? You're giving me the brush off when I'm telling you that these boys dumped on us from who knows where are acting like frigging zombies and you're making every suit under the sun. You know something, don't you? I have no idea what you mean. You know what's up with them. Where they've come from. Why they like this. You've been with us what? 20 years now, right? There's a fine bit of pension you've accumulated by now, I guess. Yeah, that's right. Where are you going with us? Just a gentle suggestion to leave this discussion here. Keep your head down, get on with your work, and you and I will pretend this conversation never happened. Union or not, there are many people very invested in these boys' development. They won't take kindly to you making trouble for them. Okay. But mark my words. This will end in tears.